Welcome back party people, my name is Daryl and today we're going to talk about the Brizzy Pro version, what I think about it, and also how I think, uh, think it's stacked up against the Elementor page builder. So right now, uh, Brizzy is in development, you know, they're pushing out a lot of new features, and I just had a tutorial on Brizzy, and I will say this, I really truly believe that this page builder uh, really deserves some recognition. I think that it will probably be better than Elementor in the future, if it continues on the road of development. So a lot of features that I liked about Brizzy was the fact that they offer these, these custom styles. Now you guys know as designers that fonts and colors are a pain in the ass. It's really hard to find right colors, right fonts. You keep going through them and everything. Brizzy has that covered. So right here you can say, this doesn't go with this. This color does not go with this background. You know, it looks kind of weird, business orange. What are you doing, Daryl, right? Well, what I can do here is I could say, oh, I need some ideas. So right here, let's do start app. We'll do sky points. We'll do wellness, we'll do yoga. And what Brizzy does, I mean, to me, this is the closest thing to AI hey, for web designers is that it's basically changing your style to match the site that you're trying to build. So right here it's saying, you know, I do like the start app. I think this right here represents the colors that I need for my website. And the great part is, is that it actually goes through the entire website. It'll actually help you change your entire website like this, like this, instead of having to go through each and every one, changing and everything. And I just think that that was a really cool feature. Now, another thing that I really like about this site is the fluidity of the builder. It's basically the best of Divi and it's the best of Elementor kind of put together. So you can just see here how fluid this is. You know, you can just, you can really just drag and drop anything that you want and you can simply just say, I want this over here. I want this over there. I think this is good. Okay, I want this to be underneath here. And to be honest, the fluidity of this builder makes it very easy to build sites. Now, another really amazing thing that I love about this that again, Elementor is really lacking is their blocks. Now the blocks right here, you might say, well, Elementor has blocks too, but just take a look at these blocks and let's talk about the blocks Elementor provides. So here we have these blocks and what do you notice about these blocks? There's colors, there's images, there's design, there's the core, and the designers are really good. They're really good designers. I will say that the guys at ThemeFuse have some really good designers. Now, when we look at the blocks from Elementor, it's just like, okay, this was cool a year ago, and now we're now we're here. You know, now we're a year ago. Uh, we had we, we a year ago we had this. Now we have this. Do you see the difference of quality here? So I will say that the Brizzy Page Builder is making a little bit better quality templates than Elementor. And when I see these, it's like, yeah, I understand what they're trying to do. But the thing is that this doesn't give me any inspiration and ideas. This right here gives me inspiration and ideas. I'm gonna say, oh, this looks like a, a church website where the girl was praising God or whatever. So if a church company wants to you know, work with me, I can probably use this, maybe design some colors around it, You know, get some ideas. And they also have layouts. And the layouts that they have are the whole package. So they do have the, the, the five to eight page layouts for every single one. And I do like the designs of these. I will say they are very nice. Mm, looking at them, good. But personally, I will have to say this though, I just care about the blocks. I just think the blocks, you know, the blocks are enough. And you know, these come with the same features like Elementor. You know, they have the shape dividers. So for example, right here, we have the shape divider, which everyone loves. And Brizzy also does have that right now. But I will say this though, you know, they're still young. I can't say without a, without a, um, you know, I can't say for hundred percent that, um, you know, right now they're, they're obviously not better. They have uh, a lot of things to work out. They have a lot of features to, to, um, you know, to improve. And right here, if you go to their free verse pro, you can see what they're currently developing. Now, if you do decide to purchase Brizzy, there is a link below. I do make a small commission and you know, no hard feelings if you don't want to buy it. Okay. Like I, I, I don't need the money, I, but it, it's always nice to have, you know, it's always nice to have. But you know, here you can see that they're in integrating their map for dynamic content and everything else. But I strongly believe once their theme builder comes out, I will say that I will probably say it is better than Elementor in some regards. And I do really like their header and footer options as well. You know, Elementor does have this, but it's the fluidity of the builder that I love right here. So for example, right here, it's like, okay, we have the theme right here, but you know what? We'll go ahead and change that really quickly to the Brizzy templates. And then we'll go ahead and make our own custom header and footer with the Brizzy page builder. And right here, I'm sorry, right here, Wait, 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 right here, right, 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 right there. We'll do the header, and then we'll throw in the header, and then we'll go ahead and throw in the footer as well, and just put it in. And I bet you're wondering, you know, this, Daryl, this is all stacked up. It doesn't look good. Well, we have this right here. 
So right here, I can fully design the website right in front of me. So it's like, all right, I wanna move this up here and then put that there. And then there we go, you know? So now we have the footer, we have the header, everything's good, everything's ready Everything's ready to go. And then I'll just click on update and everything's done. So again, uh, I do really think the features from Brizzy are really stacking up. Hey, I think they're getting closer listen. to development. Uh, right now, I could say that it is a stable page builder. I will say that you can probably use it on your client's websites. I want to use it for WooCommerce. I might wait on the WooCommerce. I want them to have the WooCommerce builder. They are talking about that as well right now. So keep an eye out for Brizzy. Uh, truly keep an eye out for them. I really think that this company, um, the builder really is promising. At first I was kind of like, ah, another builder, another BS builder, you know? But after working with the builder, after seeing it, after testing it, I think it's a very fluid, very user-friendly builder. I think that your clients will probably use this a little bit more easier because when we cut, we, when we stack this up against Elementor, you know, it's just we don't have this. I, I I've always said this about Elementor. You know, I can't drag this. You know, I can't I can't here I can drag this, but like right here I want to drag this section. So let's go ahead and drag it. There there we go. So there, there we go. It's a it's a little bit it's 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 good. It's it's not bad. You know, it's really not bad. But I I still do believe that the the builder is just not as fluid as Brizzy. And again, you know, Brizzy has the advantage here to kind of watch their competitors and work above them. So I do think that Brizzy did have a little bit of advantage there, but we'll see what happens, you know, we'll see what happens with Elementor, see what they introduce. Uh, again, I love both page builders. I love all, I love all three, Elementor, Brizzy, and uh, Elementor, Brizzy, and Divi are my favorite. Visual Composer, hell no. Don't even talk to me about Visual Composer. I don't even know why people buy that builder. I just I mean, it's it's optimized uh, sometimes, you know, whatever, you know, but let me know in the comments what you think about Brizzy in the comments below. You, again, there is a link below to check it out if you want to go ahead and buy the pro version. The pro version is only 50 bucks and I, I recommend buying it right now because um, right now they have the lifetime and the lifetime is a one-time payment. So once they actually decide to say, okay, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the lifetime, we're going to have the um, payment every year like Elementor, You'll be you'll be out of luck. So again, I highly recommend to take their lifetime right now. I don't really sell on my channel. You guys have watched me for years. I never sell, but I'm just saying that if they're offering the lifetime right now, take it because you don't want to have to pay two hundred dollars every single year like Elementor. You know, it's just uh, you don't want to be in that fixed recurring subscription. You know, so just get get the get the lifetime and and let me know what you think about the page builder in the comments below, everyone. All right. So I hope you're having a good day. You know, I hope everyone's having fun out there. I hope. Hope you don't have any crazy clients. You know, I, I've I just got off the phone call with um, uh, someone that I'm working with, and they told me they had a nightmare client, and they charged them back, and I was just like, hang in there, man. <laughs> you know, just hang in there, because I've been there. I licked the pot clean. You know. So again, everyone, uh, keep working, keep doing, keep doing what you're doing, and I'll see you in the next video.